Today is the first day Wisconsin residents can apply to the State Department of Justice for a permit to carry a hidden weapon. Some 83,000 permit applications have been downloaded from the agency's website since midnight. But still a lot of questions remain to help sort out the law for us as Wisconsin Attorney General J.B. Van Hollen, who joins us now live from the Capitol. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Pretty good. Now, people can start applying for a permit, but that does not mean you can start carrying a concealed weapon as of today. Is that correct? That's correct. To be able to carry a concealed weapon, people actually have to have their uh, state identification with them and their actual concealed carry permit, which is a card much like a driver's license. Uh, some people actually have those today uh, because we did issue some permits today already. But most permits, uh, and in the future almost all permits, will be going out in the mail. And so it's going to take time for people's applications to get into the Department of Justice, time for us to process them, and then of course time for those uh, certificates to get back out in the mail to the permit holders. I noticed a lot of the parents and I at my son's preschool, businesses are starting to post no concealed yeah. weapons here. Do you think most of the people, we've done so many news stories, and I know you've spoken so much about the topic, do you think that most people know what they have to do in order to be able to carry one where it is permitted? I think a lot of people don't know. I think part of the problem is, is this law got rolled out so fast. From the time of passage till the time we actually had to start giving out permits was four months. And in that period of time, there wasn't really enough time to educate and inform all the citizens as to what the rules and regulations were going to be. You throw on top of that the fact that individual businesses and other places can post permitting people or not permitting people. Uh, it does create some confusion. I think there's going to take a little bit of time for that to, to settle out uh, before people are really comfortable. But we do have a tremendous amount of information on our website at the Department of Justice uh, where the forms are to apply for a concealed carry permit as well. We strongly encourage people to look at our frequently asked questions uh, and other information that we have posted on that website. So if a business has a sign and a person goes in with a concealed weapon and the, the business owner sees the gun, what, what can they do at that point? Well, then they're in a position where they need to call law enforcement because if they have posted a sign and somebody has brought in a weapon contrary to what that posting says, uh, it's not up to the business owner to take that into their own hands, but there has been a violation of the law that law enforcement can enforce and they need to be contacted. Can you give us an idea? I know there are at least a short list of the places where we know we cannot carry concealed weapons at this point. Well, and there is a, a fairly short list. Uh, the reality is is that the uh, legislative bodies have the, have the ability to post their own rules, and I know they've been forbidden from the galleries of, uh, I believe, the Assembly already. Um, I know that there are law enforcement agencies, such as our Division of Criminal Investigation, where people can't carry concealed weapons. Uh, schools are someplace that people can't carry concealed weapons. Uh, courthouses, uh, state, federal, and county courthouses, uh, that's obviously not all of the places that are prohibited, uh, but that's a pretty good accounting of them. And as you say, this law went into effect very quickly. Still a lot of questions, but as you also say, a lot of those questions can be answered on your website as well. Uh, that's correct. And most of the places where you can't carry concealed weapons are places where you couldn't openly carry weapons before now either. Those aren't new laws. Uh, it's the posting of buildings that is going to be something that's going to be relatively new. And I think people have to be mindful and be very careful about where they carry their firearms and where they don't. And it is a good thing, probably, that people keep asking questions. And we do appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to answer some of those for us. Thank you. Thank you.